so, so screwed. <laughs> We're back today doing one of your favorite and one of my least favorite videos to do, public humiliation, am I right? I'm kidding, I love doing them, but sometimes they're painful to film. We're gonna try a little new technique today, see how it goes, but today we're gonna be trying on different sizes at Madewell. I shop at Madewell a little bit here and there, but the price point is just a little higher than I would like to spend ideally on clothes. They do have really good online sales every now and then, so I bought some stuff on Black Friday that was severely discounted, but a lot of the stuff is really, really overpriced. But the other thing that I really, really like about the store is that it's very very mid-size friendly, I guess you could say. And I do believe that online, their jeans go up to a size 37. Still don't really understand why so many stores offer such extended sizing online, but then don't carry them in the store. But that's another video for another day. I will get to that video eventually. Every time I've been in the store, I've only seen them go up to a size maybe 32 max, but we are gonna find out today because that is what my size is. But I'm gonna head into Madewell nonetheless and check it out. I'm gonna have a very positive mindset. I'm gonna see what I can fit into. We're gonna try on some jeans in the dressing room and hopefully we're gonna find some cute stuff. Maybe I'll walk out with a new favorite pair of jeans today, who knows, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and head into Madewell and film in public. Pray for me. So we're gonna try something a little bit different. We are going to do a voiceover for this because I am tired of getting stared at like I'm a crazy person when I film these videos. So anyways, the first pair of jeans that I'm trying on are these 11 inch high rise skinny jeans. I got them in a size 32. They're $128, pretty pricey, but I am in desperate need of some good basic black skinny jeans. And I feel like Madewell just does their basics so well. I don't know why I showed you so many clips of myself trying them on. On, but here we go got to do the squat test obviously as we all know I always have this gap in the back of my jeans I think it's because my stomach is bigger and fills up the front half I'm not sure but either way I like the way these fit to be honest in these jeans and in a lot of Madewell jeans in general especially if they're stretchy I could go down a size like I could definitely get away with a size 32 again really getting into the squat test here it passes but I'm sensitive and I do kind of prefer my jeans to be less tight one thing I notice about these jeans is that they kind of droop back in the back more than they do in the front, if that makes sense. Like they're less high-waisted in the back. I'm not really sure why that is, but I kept finding that I needed to hike them up. But to be honest, I think it might just be my body because that happens with most skinny jeans that I wear. I really love how much these have a great stretch. They are pricier than any black skinny jean. That's a basic ass pair of jeans that I've ever tried on, but I just, there's something about them. I just can't stop staring at myself in them, and I think I might need to get them. Next, I am trying on the mid rise classic straight jean. Now, as you guys know from watching my channel for any period of time, I am never probably ever going to be a fan of a mid-rise jean, but I just always have to try them on because I know a lot of you guys really like them. I don't know who hurt you, but it's okay. I'm here to support you anyways. I will say though, more than any other mid-rise jean probably that I've ever tried on before, they aren't bad. Like these are really not bad. And because of the non-stretch, the 32 is definitely my size. They're pretty in classic and I'm actually shocked because I don't usually like mid-rise jeans, obviously, but these are really comfy and they're cute and not gonna lie, I kind of almost considered getting them. But because of the price, I was just not about to spend the money on these if I wasn't a thousand million percent in love with them. But honestly, I'm kind of shook. At the end of the day, they are still a mid-rise pair of jeans though. So it's just like, uh-uh, I can't do it. I I just kept going back and forth though. I was like, wait, 
do I love these? I'm so confused, my mind was so perplexed, my butt looked cute. I was kind of feeling my oats in these, especially when I pulled my shirt down a little bit more right here. You can see that they're just a really cute classic pair of jeans. If I was someone who had maybe more tops that I felt like would go with these, or if I envisioned a lot of my clothes going with these jeans, I could maybe see myself getting them. But in the end, I just couldn't shell out that much money for a pair of jeans that I wasn't 100% sold on. Next, we have these amazing black overalls. They're kind of a skinny type of overall. They are a size extra large, which I was very surprised they had in store. They are $148, pretty steep, but they were on sale. So this is what they look like. I've been looking for a good pair of long black overalls for so long. And as you can see, I was really hoping that these would work out. It has a nice little zipper on the side. And you guys, I mean, besides the knot that's in front of my shirt, that's making them poke out in the front. These are everything i love them i think they're the perfect length i think they're the perfect fit for me xl is definitely my size in this store they also have a little frayed hem at the bottom which i absolutely love i mean gotta do the butt shot you know it's like you just gotta get the full effect i'm gonna go out on a limb and say these are pretty damn close to my dream overalls they fit me so so well like i said you can see i even have a little bit of room in the waist which i love especially in an overall and they're super stretchy as well which doesn't really i don't think happen that often when you're trying on overalls. They're usually like a pretty rigid denim. I love, like I said, the zipper detail on the side. The only thing I would change about these is maybe that they weren't as much of a skinny overall, but I gotta get them. Next up, we are trying on the classic straight jean. This is in their black wash. They call this the lunar wash, the kind of a little bit more faded wash, and they're in a size 32. It is 100 and freaking 25 smackaroos. I don't really know why these jeans are so much money, but they're magic. So, okay, these jeans, you guys, the stretch, as you can see, I put them on and they just like glided onto my body like butter. I, as you can see here, I'm pretty shook. One thing I will say as someone who's in a bit of a taller body, Madewell really, really does their high waist very well. Like it is next to the American Eagle super high-waisted jeggings, like the highest waisted jeans I've ever tried on. As you can see, very stretchy. I do have the gap in the back, but that's something that I think I just need to get used to. I don't know if you guys have any remedies for that, please let me know. There's really not much that I would change about these jeans at all. And one thing I wanted to showcase when I was filming this video was showing you different angles. Like I think a lot of times I accidentally show just the front of my body, but I wanted to show you the comparison between the front of my body and what that looks like like and also real life which is side angles those happen too and people have stomachs it's all good i'm wincing at the price of these but i think i might need to get them we'll see next to spice up you know just me trying on a bunch of jeans i decided to try on this corduroy a-line mini skirt it's in a size 16 because that was the only size that they had available it was very very much on sale so i was really excited about it but as you can see when i put this skirt on it is much too big which is really crazy because a size 16 if i'm not mistaken is a size 33 and i actually have a size 33 skirt from Madewell that is a denim skirt and it fits me like a glove because I like my skirts to be just slightly more loose because you know my booty moves around and all of that so it made no sense to me that this skirt was the same exact size but it was like two sizes too big I don't know a little bit crazy but it's still a very cute skirt the color is a dream I'm considering ordering it online but I don't know I'm trying not to do that so okay let's move on next we have a 10 inch high rise skinny jean which is one inch shorter in high rise than the first pair of jeans I tried on in black. These jeans are a whopping $135. Made well, are you okay? I don't know, I just wanna know. I will say that these jeans are pretty damn amazing. I normally don't like button front jeans, but for some reason, these were just really giving it to me. Like, look how cute these are. They're fitted so well. I think 32 is definitely my size in them, even though I have to continue to hike every pair of jeans up for the rest of my days, but they fit so, so well. Well, it was just, I was sitting there like freaking pissed. I was like, am I really about to spend $135 on a pair of jeans? Hell no, bitch. I'm not about to do that. I was really mourning the loss of these jeans. I mean, I was just distraught, but I was like, I can't do it. I mean, look at me. I'm just beside myself. I think out of all of the jeans, I definitely contemplated over these the longest, but I just like the 11 inch a little bit better. I like a little bit more of a high-waisted fit, so I had to pass on these. Am I regretting it? Yes. Next up, we have the quote-unquote perfect vintage jean. I mean, they are pretty dang cute. They are a size 
size 32. They are $98, which that's how you know you've been in the store too long when you're like, oh wow, that's like kind of cheap. It's not that bad. No, it's not cheap. It's $98. Are you kidding me? But had to give them a try. I was a little skeptical about it because of the non-high-waistedness. And as you can see, uh, yeah, probably the most unflattering pair of jeans ever. They did not even button around my waist. They did fit the rest of my body very well, but I couldn't even lift up my leg in them. There's not really that much else I can show you, but they just kept sagging down. They were not my size, and they were strangely the exact same size of all the other jeans that I have tried on thus far. Also, there's some stretch marks. Just wanted to show that. Very normal, very okay, but these yikes and last but not least we meet my arch nemesis we have the 10 inch high rise skinny jean in white these are a size 32 they're originally 135 dollars but they're actually on sale for 40 bucks so i was like you know what i'm gonna give them a try they're also the same exact jean of the jeans that i was contemplating on forever and ever they are pretty much exactly the same however i will say um white jeans like what what are they? What is their purpose? Like, is it just to highlight all of our bumps in our skin? Even though they were only $40, they did show every little nook and cranny. I just didn't feel my most confident self in them. They're not terrible. They're not the worst as far as white jeans are concerned, but I felt like you could even see bumps in my shins. Like, what? even is that. Also, weirdly enough, even though these were the same exact jeans that I tried on about two or three pairs ago, they felt oddly tighter than the other ones, but they were the exact same size, so I don't know. Very confused. I mean, I couldn't even lift my leg past this point. They just felt a lot tighter. Very strange. I have a lot of thoughts, so let's go ahead and head to the car and chat and have a little haul. All right, back in the car. I did purchase some things. What can I say? To be truthful, I have actually been wanting to invest in nicer things that are going to last me longer instead of purchasing more things that are cheaper that I'm gonna have to buy more frequently. So I did walk away with three items. My total was, I'm not gonna say. The first one, I did just get this top, which actually I've been wanting for a while and it was on sale for literally, I think, one third of the price that it usually was when I saw it during my birthday, I went to Madewell and I was like, okay, I really want this shirt. I love the color, I'm obsessed with it, but I can't pay like $150. So luckily I got a big discount on that. I did walk away with two pairs of jeans. Now they're both black. I almost bought a third pair that was black, but honestly that's what's missing the most from my jeans collection. I have a lot of mid wash, I have a lot of light wash, I have a lot of mom jeans, but I don't really have a lot of black jeans. So what I did walk away with was the 11 inch high rise skinny pair. I really, really love these. I almost walked away with the denim pair that was the 10 inch, the button up, but I just like really wanted that extra inch of high waistedness. It really made a difference to me. So I thought, you know, if they're not absolutely perfect, I need to wait and maybe like look online or something. So I could wear a 31, but I do do actually like my jeans to be not like super 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 tight like where I can't breathe so I thought you know what screw it I'll just stick to 32 I'm gonna try them on one more time when I get home if I still think it's like a little big I'll exchange them for a 31 but I was glad I got those and then last but not least I got the overalls I did pick up these skinny overalls they're just so good they're stretchy I love them they're gonna go with so many tops that I have very very excited about those purchases but yeah in conclusion I guess this isn't much of a trying on different sizes because I really only tried on like two different sizes but in my defense I kind of already knew what my size was at Madewell and there were even inconsistencies in those two sizes like I mentioned earlier in the video the corduroy skirt is the same size that I own in a denim skirt from that same place and they don't fit any near the same I guess what my question is is if like say your non stretchy jeans run small wouldn't you just size them down I don't know you know what I'm saying I really really enjoyed filming this today it was so much fun it was so much less pressure because I wasn't talking in the fitting room and having all the employees hear me the whole time although I was in there for a good probably 30 minutes so they were probably like what is she doing in there it's LA people are weird here I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know where you want to see me do like an inside the fitting room trying on different sizes type of video next I love doing these they're so fun I love just kind of experimenting with different sizes on my body I love trying out different brands I love showing you guys what something may look like on your body type and also just kind of like blowing the lid off of the absolute atrocity that is women's sizing so thank you guys so so much for tuning into this video it means so much to me the support you guys always give me on these videos i love you guys so so much and i will see you very soon bye r.i.p my bank account